Hi friends, it's Peepo here, but you should already know that. This is my YouTube channel, so let's get started today. We are playing a game called Wax Boy. As you can clearly see, this game was made by my very good friend, Jeeva Pira, who makes some of my favorite horror games. They are always just the most beautiful blend of creepy and scary and bizarre. Um, one last note before we begin, this game apparently has multiple endings, and according to him, if we manage to achieve all of those endings, a bonus thing will appear on this menu screen. So you know what we have to do. All right, let's do it. Also, that the, that title screen had so much to talk about, so much to look at, but I'm, we'll have lots of time in the future. Let us begin. Okay, drive. It was a calm, cold, dark night. I was going back home from my friend's place. Dumbass got his cock stuck in a vacuum cleaner. Was too ashamed to call for help. So I had to help him out. That dumb bloody bastard. I managed to yank his willy out and we had a good laugh about it. So everything turned out great. After we watched a stupid scary movie about a bunch of idiots getting lost in the woods and getting their asses killed by a werewolf. Fucking nonsense. Anyways, my arm was still sore when I was getting sleepy. I hit a hedgehog or something and my car got messed up. I tried to flip it over, but I couldn't. Not cause I'm a whim. It's because my arm was still hurting. Bloody hedgehog! I hope he gets the worst headache! Fucking cut! I also tried to look around, but I got stopped by this fucking invisible wall that appeared from thin air. Fucking shit ass! You fucking bloody hedgehog bastard! I tried to call my friend, but my battery was dead. Fuck you, Crapple! You fucking cunts! Because it makes no sense to sit around and wait for someone to show up, I decided to make moves. Found this extremely well hidden secret pathway. And if there's a road, it means it leads to somewhere, right? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck? If I stay in the road, cars will hit me? This is so fucking funny. Oh, so much. Where do I even begin? Oh my god, visiting a friend because he stuck his dick in the vacuum and he was stuck and then you had to help him and then you just were like... I don't know, bro. I guess we could, like, hang out for a little bit and watch a scary movie together. <laughs> we had a hedgehog. Um, couldn't flip my car, not because it was stuck. There's just, that's hilarious. That's so funny. Um, we're going to just press on. I love the pink neon arrows. Do not enter. <sighs> Great. We found a super well-hidden secret path. Like, where do I even, where do I even begin? <laughs> I will say the car flip was probably supposed to scare me, but it didn't because I was way too busy laughing, um, obviously, but, uh, jarring a little bit, a little bit. Like I said, if I wasn't, if I wasn't still so busy, like, cackling, probably would have got me. Um, <laughs> all right, time to focus. Time to get our, um, our surviving hats on. Now, multiple endings. Wasn't me. <laughs> they are loving the fart sound with this. I love that that's how they censored. That's <laughs> so funny. Ah, uh, I know, I know. God, I'm like six years old laughing at fart sounds. There are certain fart sound effects that are just, like, hilarious. Who's that? Oh, Scarecrow. They're just funny. Funnier than other ones. And they picked a really funny one. You know what I mean? All right, we're a very slow walker. As as per usual, that's also par for the course for Juva Games. He gives you a slow walk, and if you want to sprint, it's a it's a slightly faster walk. Which 
Oh, uh, just definitely uh, makes everything much more terrifying because there's no getting away quickly from anything. That is a choice for Halloween decor, to be sure. That is a choice. Um, hold on. Wouldn't it be funny if this was one of the endings? That would be hilarious. I'm also ever grateful that uh, the flashlight doesn't run out of batteries. No. No way. Fuck this shit. Why, why would you do that? Ten endings. Holy shit. Even in the darkest moments, there's a glimmer of hope. Always worth a try. Right on, right on. I'll be sure to have to put a trigger warning at the beginning of this, but I do love that. I love that you're given that option because it's silly, but I also just, she was so sweet. <laughs> Never give up. Why would you do that? Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Hopefully it doesn't start us from the very, very beginning and we can just jump right in because this is going to be a lot of repetition. Well, I hope for my sake anyway, you're not going to know the difference. Oh, we can skip. Amazing. Amazing. All right. We've got ending four of ten. How exciting. I wonder if getting hit by that car is one. Hold on. If I wait here long enough, a car is going to come by. And um, if I don't get out of the road, maybe it'll hit me. And I'll die. <laughs> Ooh, fingers crossed. <laughs> hope it kills me. Ah, uh, <laughs> Gen Z humor. Am I right? <laughs> I'm hip. I'm hip. I'm a cusper. I'm hip. Yes, hit me. Don't slow down. Hit me. Ouch! Ending one of ten. All your bones broke. Soon after, you died from internal bleeding, and your corpse got eaten by a bear. The driver got caught after a week, but charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. Because of the bear. Incredible. I knew it. Incredible. Okay. Obviously, that would be the first possible <laughs> ending. Um since that's like the first thing we encounter. Got it. But for the gallows to be ending four is interesting. Were there other ways to die before I even reached the gallows? Or is the ending, are the endings numbered just sort of by how they were thought up, I wonder. All right, let's skip back up and see what we can find. I wonder if like we can get eaten by a bear out here. Um, for the sake of, you know, completionism, which uh, I, I, is my religion, I would, there's nobody out there! I would do that for you. You guys know how I feel about bears, um, which is, uh, negative to say the least. I'm not a fan of getting mauled by a bear. But I would do it. I would do it for you. And, you know, for my religion. The flowers, the red flowers are weirdly spooky. There's a lot of poppies. There's a lot of poppies. Which just shouldn't be spooky, but it is for some reason. It, it's just very like anime ending, you know what I mean? Whenever the anime is uh, of the variety where shit gets very fucked up, there's always that red flower outro. You guys know, the girls who, girl, girl, and the girls who girl with corns. You know, if you know, you know, if you don't know, then you don't know. If you know, you know. Look a grave. I cannot read it. It's not in English. Hello. What a spooky, man, this house is all about the Halloween decor. I, you know, I hope my house looks like this someday. Go ahead. It's supposed to hold something. I am absolutely obsessed with the, uh, hello, don't shine that in the window. I am absolutely obsessed with the voice acting. Excuse me, I got, to, I got distracted by the shining red lights. Uh, I love it so much. It's so silly. He sounds like a pirate, kind of. And I love it. All right, how else can we die? How else can we die? Well, I don't want to go in the house because that's scary. And I'm starting to get nervous, but I feel like mm, we should go. We should go in the house. Let me turn off my light real quick because it's blinding me. Go ahead. Oh, G oh, Jiva. <gasps> Jiva. Jiva. <sighs> oh, 
with the mannequins. The mannequins. The first game I ever played by Jiva was Christmas Horror Game. And it had... Oh, look at the... <laughs> what? It had... Do they all have little symbols on their faces? Uh, psst. Incredible. It had unnecessary mannequins in it. Um, mannequins that were very spooky, uh, freaked me out, and then were never addressed ever again. And it was, it was wonderfully terrifying. So I will say, regardless of genre or if they are relevant, um, you can always rely on a terrifying mannequin in all of these games somewhere. Oh. All right, we'll have to look for a code. What's in here? Oh, another one. What are you, meditating? That's nice. Meditation. Oh, look. Oh, I have to come around. Hold on. Their faces have symbols. And the symbols are related to numbers, which is going to give me the code, I bet. Okay, hold on. Thinker confused drunk. So, who is the thinker? You look like you're thinking over there. Thinker. Oh, there's so many to pick from. Thinker is seven? Thinker, you look like you're thinking. You look confused. And you're, you look drunk. <laughs> okay, drunk is the explosion, and that is that one. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, God, there's... Okay, no, 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 no. First one is 13. 13... 18, 5. Son of a bitch. 15, 13, 5. Annoying what? us. Annoying us. Yes. Yes, it is. Gollum. <laughs> Gollum, Gollum. Thinker confused. Who's the thinker? You're a thinker. You're not thinking about anything. No, 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 15, 18, 5. 15, 18, 5. What am I doing? Did I, did I type that last time? I don't think so. 15, 18, 5. <gasps> oh my god, yes. The iron cone, of course. Right, obviously. Where's the, where's the, where's that one? <gasps> Hi, damn it, Jiva. Damn it. Oh, that did not feel good in my stomach. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. I got an iron cone. Oh, do you think that goes in the hands of the statue? Let's go give it to the statue guy. Oh, Lord. Oh, woo. I have little goosebumps all over my body. You look like you should be holding something much smaller, but, you know, you're made of stone. I have an iron cone. It's supposed to hold something. I know what it's supposed to do. Does he just fart on occasion? Does he just like nervous fart randomly throughout the game? <laughs> so, so silly. So silly. All right, iron cone, iron cone. I know that there's so much else to see. So let us press on. Ooh, the mannequins gave me the heebie-jeebs. They really did. Um, dick. What to do with an iron cone, I guess. I have no idea. Look at you. Oh, smash it. <gasps> I find all the pumpkin. I will find all the pumpkin. <gasps> I'll do it. Is there one over there? What is that? Oh, it's just a torch. I'll smash all the pumpkins, I will. Oh. Can I get hit by a train? Should I get hit by a train? I'll remember the password, so I can always do it again. What is it? 15, 18, 5? Oh, man. We're in a whole creepy village. Wow. I'm uh, a little surprised, gonna be honest. <gasps> 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 
Thank you for that. <sighs> cool. Cool. <laughs> oh, another mannequin? I'm not in the mood. I'm not ready yet. I still have true. Holy shit. I will be able to teleport next time I die by flexing my T muscle. Great. Saves a bunch of my fucking time. <laughs> Uh, I hope I don't have to come back for the pumpkins. That would suck. I hope, like, my game just saves that. Wow. Okay, that'll be good. That will, that truly is really convenient because it's quite a bit of traveling to do. Um, so that thing's running around and I don't care for it at all. Not even a little bit. What's your deal? I can take it? Okay. Yeah, let's take him. <laughs> Is that Wax Boy? Um, anyway. It's locked. Oh, damn. What to do with the mannequin, I wonder? I like having him, but, you know, just to keep me company. I guess That red thing running around is really a problem, but it killing me would probably be an ending. Do not you think? <laughs> You're being crazy You're being a freaky little nutball is what you're being You don't need to do all that Hmm? Oh man, I'm never gonna find all these endings. There's, it's just so big. Wait, I'm all turned around. Uh oh. Ending three of ten. We're still technically making progress. Okay. Okay. Oh, my pumpkins. No. All right. We will have to deal with the pumpkins on another run through because there's too much to consume right now. Does that wax guy... That's crazy. Ripped to shreds? Wait. Yeah, I know. Does he know when I do that? <gasps> the flashlight. If I can shine my flashlight on him, maybe. He turns around. That's my theory. Let's try it. You got nothing on me, wax boy. Nothing on me. I'm assuming he's got a problem with the um, pumpkin smashing. But whatever, fam. You're just gonna have to deal with that. I make the rules here, okay? Waxy boy. I look another portal. This is gonna be tough. Where is he? Ah! He's so fast. My god, now I'm gonna have to run. Oh, he's really hard. He's so fast. He's hard to find. That sucks. Let's just get to the portal. Get to the portal. Hmm. Wow, look. Okay. All right. What? What the fuck? Was I not fast enough? Uh. Should I just like focus on all the pumpkins this round? Ooh, ooh. Shh. 
shit. Shit! No! What's with the mannequin, bro? Should I reunite the mannequin with his family, maybe? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we do that. Wait, let me get that mannequin. Let me get that mannequin. Yes, photo. Um, it seems like Wax Boy only lives on this side of the tracks, so let me just... I don't know, I'm just guessing here, but, you know, you're all on your lonesome, and you need to be with your family. Here we go. <gasps> Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> That was not cool. Turn that head back around, dude. I'm trying to be nice to you. You know that? No, you probably fucking don't. Where do you want to stand, hmm? Can I put you down? Can I put you down? What do I do with you? Where do you want to be? I'm just trying to put you somewhere, please. That sucks. This this sucks. I I regret this decision immediately. Again, I need that cone, I guess. Bing, thank you. Can you please be gone? Can I put you back? I don't I do not want you anymore. <laughs> Go Please, very much away. You make it harder for me to see my surroundings. Can you bug off kindly? Shit, 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 shit. Bro, you're so fast. Knock that off. I'm not gonna bother with the pumpkins right now. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, not gonna bother. I'm gonna try to get to these portal pads. Because I'm very curious. I will attempt the pumpkining later. There he is. Yo, you suck, dude. Portal. Portal. Yeah, let's take the dangerous path. Portal. Where's... Over here? Okay. Faster, please. Oh, what a coincidence. Yeah, please fuck off. Oh, please, please, please let me finish this without dying. He runs up on me so fast. Come on, come on. You can get there. You can get there. I can get there, come on, come on. What happened? What happened? I actually don't even want to fucking be here. This place is fucked up. Uh, take me, take me home, basically. Take me. I'm fine with that. Unfortunate, no, no, no. You got probed and poked and also your kidneys were removed and all that fun stuff. Nobody believed your story and eventually you went mad, but hey, at least you're alive, right? No, I guess not. Let's go ahead and go down this path because I think there were more buildings um uh we ran out into the woods to follow the portals and i don't want to do that this time because we already did that so let's um yeah let's follow the lanterns where the fuck hi okay convenient i do love when he comes running at me from the front i could not ask for a better situation should i just grab pumpkins as i pass them 
I don't think so. I think I'm gonna get pissed off if I do that. Ah, I can't help myself. Sure, there's one over there. Mm-hmm, you wish. Some over there. Yeah, the pumpkin's gonna be a real challenge. I'm saving that for last. I don't, I don't have that in me yet. Look at this big old house. What? What? Where? Where? Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> oh, I thought he was tur he turned right back around. That would have been pretty rude, huh? Oh, that's my footsteps. My footsteps I'm hearing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It can be my footsteps. I don't mind. I don't mind that. I do a little, but it's fine. Hey, hello. Hi. More mannequins? Really? Really? Haven't we had enough of that? <laughs> Must we continue to do this, Jeev? Hmm. Hi. You miss your friend? Are you the one who wanted a friend? Oh, I could do that for you, but also... That's a lot, my guy. I have to go all the way back and hope that I'm lucky enough to not get run up on by... What's going on in here? Huh? There's a lot of safes. One number is correct, but wait, what? Oh my God, skull key. I don't have a skull key. Click 99 times to, I can, I can either figure it out or click 999 times to unlock it. That's very funny, but very cruel of you. Give me a minute to use my brain. Okay, I think I know it. One, three, five. Yay, that wasn't so bad actually. Strength potion. Why would I do that? Another one. Ah, woo, that took me some time. Look at my potions. What do they do? Jeez, I don't know. Poison. Well, that'll kill me. Strength potion? Does it wear off? Wow, I feel so powerful. This is incredible. Good. That's good. Sure. Okay. What do I do with that? Hmm? What do I do with that strength of mine? I feel so powerful. This is incredible. fucking close okay hi I'm here to drink your poison and die so please don't disrupt me in that yay magic potion mm. you had exploded what did you expect would happen 
That is exactly what I was expecting. Thank you. All right. Okay. I'm out of ideas for a lot of endings right now. So what I'm going to do is just try really hard to smash all the pumpkins. I, I don't know how possible that is, but I'm going to try. So that's what this run is. Expect, expect no interesting commentary, please. Thank you. So hard. Wax boy is the worst. He's so fast. It's terrible. Ah. That was really close. That was a little close for comfort, considering I was staring right at him. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I hate this. I hate this. That's so bullshit. That's bullshit. Oh, look at it showing me the endings I got. I know what I got. I wrote them down. Fuck you, wax boy. Fuck you, dude. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I went and got a little snack and took a breather. <laughs> I'm gonna get all these endings if it takes all night. And it might, but that's fine. So one tip I saw on the game page was that when you're not literally shining the light in Wax Boy's face, it might be a good idea to turn the flashlight off so that you can um, see better. And since he glows, it would probably help me spot him coming better, I'm hoping. Um, that's the tip that was given, so I'm gonna find it. However, because I quit out of frustration and started a new game, I do not have my teleport available to me right now, which kind of sucks. There's gotta be something I can do with that guy, but apparently he doesn't want the cone. I have so many questions, but I'm gonna try to smash all the pumpkins again. I don't know about the cone, I'm not ready for that. I'm gonna try to smash all the pumpkins. Turning my flashlight off when not uh, actively shining it at him. And um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Like I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try real hard. Although I really don't know. Hi, thank you for that. I really don't know. Holy shit. I will be able to teleport next time I die by flexing my T muscle. Right. Saves a bunch of my fucking time. Sure. Um. You know, I'm sure I'll see him coming better, but I can't see a damn. I can't see anything else. Ah. Uh, I really can't see him better like that. Okay, you know what? We're gonna stumble through the darkness with the flashlight off, and it's gonna look not that interesting for you, but you're gonna have to deal with it because I need to see that glowy little bitch coming. Ooh, it's dark and it hurts my eyes. Oh fuck, why'd I do that? Oh. It's no good if I turn it on before I found him, peep. All right, let's do this. I'm hoping that, um, have we done this one? Look at this little meadow. Kind of nice, huh? Kind of pretty. lights off trick, but I really do feel like I'm just getting lucky. Good for spying him, I suppose. What's that? Wait, what is that? That's just a, no, it's just a normal, oh, okay. 
just don't know if I've ever seen this one before. Not entirely familiar with where we are now. But I guess I'll just keep intentionally going wherever is darkest so that I could see him coming. Yep. Is that one down there? Oh my god, it is. Oh, 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 oh. With one left, I almost ate it. Oh, I would never forgive myself. Where the fuck? I must have been on the other side of the mountain. Holy shit. Come on now. Come on now. Oh my god. Pumpkins. Smashed. I smashed them all. You managed to kill Wax Boy. Ending six of ten. Nobody knows how smashing pumpkins could be related to Wax Boy's death, but who cares? You are the ultimate survivor. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm writing them down when it'll remember for me, but well, that is that is satisfying. That does make me feel better, actually, yeah. Ugh, worth it, worth it. A little bit, a little bit. It'll be super worth it when I get all the endings. We're still missing endings two, five, nine, and ten. So I'm gonna have to figure some stuff out. But now I'm pretty good at not dying from Wax Boy, so I feel good. I feel good about it. Let's try bringing the mannequin back home to his pals. I think that would be a good plan. I'd really appreciate if the game is like, congrats, you beat Wax Boy. Now he's dead forever, and you never have to see him again. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know what I'm gonna do with the mannequin. Hanging? Oh. That was just you. Hi. What do you want me to do? No. Mm. Oh my god. Shut up right now. You guys are going to laugh when you see what I am about to do because I should have done this forever ago and I didn't. Like a proper dumbass. You guys recall at the very beginning how we hit a hedgehog and flipped the car. Yeah, remember that? We all were there for that one. Um, and then we said, you know, that we couldn't flip the car back over because we were a weak little bitch. Yeah. So, uh, I did not, I did, uh, <laughs> drink, glug glug. Wow. I feel so powerful. This yes. Is incredible. <laughs> Messed up car to wait. Oh, I'm not waiting. I flipped that bitch. Wait, I wonder what happens. Okay, well, we'll try that next time. I'm still weak. Oh, <laughs> uh, you came, you saw, you took a couple of tries, but eventually you conquered, although you died a couple weeks later, choking on mashed potatoes. Incredible. I love mashed potatoes, so that's definitely something that would happen to me because I also like them chunky. Okay, we are missing endings 2, 5, and 10. 
Um, let's try it again and, and wait by the car. I bet that's ending too, and it's probably boring, but we just wait and like hitchhike or something. And that will leave us with two and that I will have no idea how to get. Not even, not a clue. Um, cause there's no walkthroughs online for this. So <laughs> I don't know, uh, but at least we can do this. Wait by the car. Yep. Yep. I sure am. This is, has to be a timer type thing. If they're gonna make me click 999 times to... Did I do it? Was I patient? Did my patience pay? Yeah, I waited till morning! <gasps> oh, that's kind of lovely, actually. Look at how nice that is. <gasps> it's beautiful during the day. survived the night. Ending two. I knew it was going to be two. A couple of hours after some rando eventually picked you up. Later, you got fined for leaving your car and running from the crime scene. Yeah. So all we're missing are endings five and ten, right? One, two, three, four. No five. Six, seven, eight, nine. No ten. Okay. Okay. It's stuff like that that I'm, that I'm not thinking of. The cone has to be something, and getting into that house has to be something. So what I was thinking was uh, about all of the different pieces we have left, right? We have the, the statue remaining. We have the locked house. We have the mannequin we can pick up. Um, I think those are it. I think those are all of the unanswered questions. And I, was, I noticed two things about the mannequin. <laughs> One, that when you pick him up, there is a camera shutter sound for whatever reason. But that doesn't happen when we pick up anything else. It's a very specific sound. And also, um, the mannequin only turns around to look at us to give us that jump scare. Specifically, if we bring him back across the tracks to the first house with the first house full of mannequins. Um, you can carry him as long as you want and he won't turn around and look at you unless go on yep unless you bring him back there so I figured that was a sign see that, that camera shutter sound um, I figured that was a sign that if bringing him on that half is triggering something. Sorry, I'm just listening for Wax Boy's footsteps. If bringing him on that side is triggering something, then that must mean that, uh-huh, this area is aware of this item's presence. And I don't know, I just figured it's all so very interesting. So what I wanna do is see if I can hang the mannequin instead of myself. So uh, let's go ahead and that. Mm hmm Yup. Do I know things or what? Do I know things or do I know things? What is he doing? Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. He's giving us the middle finger. And he pooped. Oh, smells like me after Burger King. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, so now we have shit. We have feces. I'm gonna try to give it to the Grim Reaper. If it doesn't go to the Grim Reaper, then I literally don't know why I did that. Here's your shit. It's supposed to hold something. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, how very fun and funky, but I don't know why I need shit. Like, wh there's no point in this when I, what's the shit for? I thought he was gonna drop a key or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do I get the cone and put the... 
the shit in the cone? That would be very weird, but I, 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 I don't know. I'm just doing things, aren't I? Give me that cone. <gasps> poop cone. I have a poop cone. Stop it. I have a poop cone. We put his shit in a metal cone. Why would I eat the poop cone? Why? Can I, can I, do I have to? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's. I did it. Ew. You vomited for hours and died of dehydration. Ending five. Gross. But hey, it was an ending. So that solves the mystery of the mannequin that we can pick up and the metal cone, doesn't it? Fucking gross, dude. All that remains is the statue. And that's the 10th ending. If we can unlock the statue and or, I'm assuming the locked house contains whatever the statue wants to hold. So really it's a matter of how to get into that locked house. And that is a matter uh, of which I have no solution as of present. Um, so I guess I'm gonna do some more wandering around and thinking. I mean, if ripping the door off its hinges because I'm strong didn't work, I mean, where would I find a, you know, I should find a key because when I'm opening the safes, it says skull key. Doesn't it? It says skull key as if that would be a thing that I have. And it certainly is not a thing that I have. Where would I have obtained that? Hey friends, it's me again. Uh, pay no mind to the outfit change. Uh, while it's only been a few seconds to you, it's been a couple of hours since I have had to walk away from this game because I g could not, I still have not, figured out the 10th ending. In that time, I racked my brain, took a nap, and did the least cool thing I could think of and DM'd the developer asking for a hint, which I was given and did not help me. <laughs> so the hint I was given was that the 10th ending includes the strength potion and making friends. So in response to that, I have collected the strength potion and attempted to give it to the statue in the cemetery. I have attempted to use the strength potion to flip over the car with our mannequin friend in tow, hoping that I could perhaps leave with him in the passenger seat and a new friend. That is so much not an option that every attempt to do it causes the game to crash. That's, that's how much that is not an ending. Um, I also attempted to drink the strength potion and get abducted by aliens again, and maybe in hopes that I would now be strong enough to not let them probe me. I don't know. So, so that's what I did with the hint. Because of the hint, I am going to drink the strength potion regardless of what I do, because I have been told that it's relevant. I don't know how it's relevant, but it's relevant apparently. Go away. I'm talking to my friends. Then I went on the, the, on to the itch page and I was looking at screenshots and I saw, God bless, the creepy statue holding something that I recognized from a, a previous ending that you will see in a moment. Let us um, grab our mannequin friend here. Thank you. And let us cross the train tracks and get back from whence we came. What we are going to do is recreate the poop cone that we ate. That, where this esteem game would give us the very hilarious achievement of two girls, one cup, but this is not, and it didn't, so we're just gonna have to pretend that it did. But rather than eat the poop cone, I'm gonna give the poop cone to the statue man. I'm sure he'll be quite pleased. So that's what I'm doing. 
And um, <laughs> this is not the 10th ending. I'm going to delete my fucking channel. But at the very least, it is something that I have never successfully done before. So that's new content, right? That's something. Oh, that was you. I was going to say, did I accidentally press C and eat the poop cone? I swear to God. I'm going to freak out if I have to do all of this again. And I drank the strength potion. Once again, not sure why I oh, want to do that, but perhaps that will be helpful afterwards. So, there you go. There, I gave it him the poop cone. There, see? He has it. Holy poop cone. The skull key! <laughs> I turned into that old lady banging on the bus. <laughs> I get it now. I get it. Sometimes you're pushed to the brink of sanity. It makes sense now. It makes sense. I'm going to use my skull key to open the door to the goddamn house. I don't need it to open the safes because I solved them organically because I'm a gamer. Whatever's in this house better be fucking worth it. <sighs> It's locked. It's locked. What? It doesn't open the house. Guys, I'm, I'm really. <gasps> oh, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Wax boy for real. What? <laughs> It makes me fucking crazy. <laughs> what good? The skull. <sighs> Hello there, friends. It's me again. Uh, as you may or may not have uh, guessed by the third outfit change, another amount of time has passed since last we spoke. During that time, the game has received a small update to fix some bugs and... I got confirmation on what I thought the 10th ending was. So now I can finally successfully Rude. I can finally successfully get that ending and share it with you and then reveal what special bonus is waiting for us on the main menu, you know, for winners only because I'm a winner. And I will finally beat the game. <laughs> All of my hard work will finally pay off and everything will be right with the world. And it's gonna be amazing. So, yes, potion, glug glug. Wow, <sighs> I feel so powerful. This is incredible. And so here we are once again, a very familiar sight for us. I have drank my strength potion and I'm carrying the mannequin back to the car. <laughs> because even though the game acted as though I were absolutely crazy for suggesting such an ending, it turns out that this game is not only stressful and difficult and scary, but also a gaslighter, because that is in fact the 10th ending. I'm gonna feel I hope incredibly fulfilled and happy because if not, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> but at the very least, I will be proven right that this was that this was the ending. That this was this was what I thought it was gonna be. Yes. Yes. ending you crushed it and even managed to find friends while doing it mad respect i did it i did it for you and me mostly me but also for you that is it i have shown you all 10 endings of wax boy 
I hope you appreciate it because I practically lost my marbles in the process. What is my reward? I hit try again. Why did I do that? Here we are. The final menu. All 10 endings, all 10 pumpkins. I have fire and fire now available. Well, I am a left kind of gal. I love it. This is the kind of celebration and appreciation that I deserve after this kind of effort and suffering. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is right. This is this is exactly correct. Only this kind of fanfare is an acceptable level of celebration for when I achieve anything. If it's not the grand finale of a fireworks show, it's not enough. Incredible. I love it so much. I always love the fireworks in Jiva's games. They're so beautiful and so satisfying. Gorgeous. And now I can do this whenever I want. Whenever I need a little pick-me-up, I need to feel a little celebrated because I've done something very difficult and challenging. I can just pop this bitch open and just celebrate me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know down below with a like or a comment. And as always, I will see you in the next one very soon.